I'd like you to tell me the story of Jesus' action. What? Once upon a time. Okay, once upon a time, one yep. balmy afternoon in Galilee. Balmy, um, balmy, what's balmy? Balmy, it's a sort of hot but breezy. I think. Galilee. Galilee's a place. Galilee, you mean. Gal yeah, that or the other. It depends whether you're from north or not. Um, it's a bit like Bath and Bath. Um, so, uh, anyway, there's, um, there's Mary and Joseph are a lovely new, newlywed couple, and they're um, in their house, and they hear an announcement by the town crier that the <laughs> king, yeah. Herod, has... Uh, what? Herod. Is that his or second name? Well, it's, both. He's just Herod. He's Herod, Herod. Like, no, he's just Herod. Like Sting. He's just Sting. <laughs> <laughs> so well, he's like Sting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I understand that now. Are you going to yeah. do the voices in this? Yeah. Well, like, so, so what would Herod say? Well, because he's like Sting. He's like, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, oh, you're doing, man. It's uh, it's time for the census. Raji, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> what? Have you made that up completely? No, that's, that's well, Herod. That's he doesn't Herod. have to be totally like Sting, does he? Well, all right, he's, um, he's, no, he's much more authoritative. So he talks like this, <laughs> and he said, uh, from this day forth there would be a census, and everyone who uh, was born in Egypt has to go to the place of their birth by the 24th of December and register who they are and what they do. Brilliant. So, um, so that's... <laughs> so that, I like this story because it's got Darth Vader in it. Yeah. So that's what happened. Yeah. And so Mary and Joseph were getting all ready and then they suddenly realised <laughs> that it might be a bit difficult because Mary was, in fact, eight and three-quarter months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what were they getting ready for? To go all the way to the place of Joseph's birth. You didn't tell us that. that. Uh, just in the yeah. announcement, Herod said it. Yeah, but you didn't tell us that Joseph had to. You, you didn't say anything other than that. You said that what Herod said. That's well, the announcement. You, 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 you said, so Joseph and Mary were getting ready. Getting ready for what? For, 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 for following Herod's statement. Yeah, but you've not told us where Joseph was from. Right, so Joseph's from Bethlehem, and oh, so they had to get oh. ready for this 400-mile road trip, a bit like you and Gregor trip, and that yeah. other fellow with the motorbikes. And they had to go across to <laughs> Bethlehem, yeah. right, so that they could well, be the there. The motorbikes be there. No, no time, they didn't have they? motorbikes, but they had to get there anyway. You just get the mega bus. No, they didn't have buses either. Mega bus would be good actually. That would be yeah. like a quid each. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah but quid each, quid each way. Mega bus. They didn't from, Gal from Galilee to Bethlehem. Yeah, but they didn't have any any. Ha <laughs> ha! They 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 not even read Harry Potter. What? Huh? Quid each? Quid each? He said. Ooh, had to go quid each. Yeah. Oh, Pun. Are you drunk? No. So, uh, anyway. So curious as to what passes for humour to Raj. <laughs> so, <laughs> curious. So they were heading off. <laughs> they were heading off to Bethlehem. I don't know anyone that would find that funny. And, um, and Mary was getting a bit tired on the journey. Raj's children probably find it funny. And, uh, and, and they, they met this really yeah, nice... Round. They really met this really nice old man. Oh, what did he sound like? He was really old and he sounded like that. He sounded like, like, yeah, he sounded like Dirty Dan. No, he didn't sound even like Les Graham because he didn't have any pockets to put his hands in or anything. So he was just a normal <laughs> To a lot of people, that would make sense. I don't even know what you're... What, what is happening? Are you on a knee or something? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what Leslie Graham does. He puts his hands in his pockets, he looks at the ceiling and he goes, Ah, Christ. And then that's basically it. That's his, that, that's that's his, yeah, that's his entire know, performance. So. Yeah, I know, but it, it's almost like this is a bit like you've had a breakdown in between our in between the last podcast and now. Has everything been all right? No, it's been awful. It, it's no, a bit it's like been you've awful. got a fractured brain. Right, it's like we, we've gone tell a story. And you, I mean, you started the story really quickly, which you don't normally do. You, you normally go, "Well, no, what should I say? I don't know what I should say." Right, right. Went, all right. Once upon a time in Galilee, there's a black boy's Barbie, and there's a black boy's Barbie, and there's a black boy's Barbie. That's all happened. Oh, and it's your speeding. And the old fella says to him, he says, Oh, look, I feel sorry for you because you look like a lovely couple, so here, why don't you take my donkey and it will help you get to where you're going. So they borrowed his donkey. <laughs> help them to get to where they're going. To what, get to Bethlehem. Lead the way. Yeah, because he didn't need it for a week Sorry, did you so. say they borrowed his donkey? Yeah, they borrowed his donkey because <laughs> he's a really nice Good Samaritan person and, and at a different time in the story, he, he put his seeds in, in the yeah, earth not worry about and that. other people put seeds in the... Soil in the in the stones and, and well, his seeds well, grew. Come back to us, right? Come back to so us. So then, what happened? That's it. Can we so they're on. So, so Joseph was really grateful, and he said, "Oh, thank you very much." Like that, and uh, he put Mary. Well, it was so, fucking Julian Clary playing. Julian. <laughs> he's just a really nice guy, right? And he's really sweet. And so he. <laughs> <laughs> they do belong here now. <laughs> what? 
So he put he put Mary onto the onto the donkey and he went, Oh up there you go, darling. Up you get and she was all happy. She was like, Oh, thank you very much, that's really lovely. And um, and off they headed, right? And it was really great. They were, gonna, they were gonna take hours and hours and hours and possibly days off their journey, because it was like four hundred miles and they had like three days to get there. Right? So they eventually got there. And, uh, and, uh, and, and so, and, uh, when they got there, it was late, and, oh, what are you doing? I don't know what's happening now. Calm down, Roger. Right. <laughs> You're getting too excited by the story. Okay. So they get there. Where? To, to Bethlehem. That was great, right. wasn't it? All right, uh, a couple of days, and they met some nomad people who gave Two days food. to do 400 miles on a donkey. Yeah, because oh, that is, is pretty good. Was R- it a turbo donkey? It's an <laughs> RS2000 donkey, and then, like, strike down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and... And they were really pleased yeah. about it. And so <laughs> they got there and they got to this inn where they were booked in to stay, right? We were fucking we were they booked in one they just phoned ahead, did they? No, no they booked in. Right, because what happens is is when you get the notification to say you've got to go to your place of birth You go on the internet. You you no, put no, the letter on the mega bus. No, you get when you get the notification and it's and it's delivered to you like a stone tablet. Oh, for right, by, by this whole range of um, Ethiopian uh, slaves, right? And, <laughs> and there's like one for every household that runs to get their tablet. And and what happens is you get it, it, it's announced that you've got to go to where your place of birth. And at the same time, at the bottom, in like a sub paragraph, is explained who's going to come and stay in your house while you're away. So if there's like an accommodation slip to tear off the stone at the bottom. Yeah, you've got to kind of chip it off <laughs> with a chisel. So yeah. you take it, and that's and that's where the word chitty comes from. What? what? How was that? How there was? Because how does chitty come from that? Because right, what's that? Because you, you have to, you have to chip it off. Joseph was a carpenter, and because they're known as chippies, they couldn't say, "Oh, it's a chippy." So they moved it a couple of le- letters later in the alphabet to chitty. So I don't even, I don't even want this to carry on. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what happened. So they had their little tablet, and they arrived at the inn, and they said, "Here you go." But unfortunately, the innkeeper, who who was who was um, who who was Glaswegian, right? And the innkeeper uh, was a very big hairy man, and 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 he was like he was like, I'm terribly sorry, but there's been so many people taking us up on our special two for one weekend that uh, <laughs> that <laughs> not so talking about. <laughs> You to tell me the story of the nativity. I'm trying to even fucking modernise it. You don't want to be dead. It's because I'm scared you're going to break something if I don't do it. Hell, your fucking nose if you don't carry on properly. Just say that Jesus got born. The innkeeper. Uh, Just say Jesus got born in the stable. Say it now. Jesus got born in the stable. Thank you. And that's a big bright light. And lots of people brought presents. And they brought some Frankenstein. And they brought... <laughs> no, they didn't bring Frankenstein. <laughs> it was Frankincense, wasn't it? They brought some Frankincense. And, and they brought some gold. gold and, and, they, and they brought some myrrh. Yes. <laughs> and that was brilliant and then Jesus <laughs> was born and they called him Jesus Christ because that was their surname Joseph, Joseph, Joseph and Mary Joseph Christ Joseph and Mary Christ uh, well, Jeff, why are you doing this like you're a four year old at school because I've done it now I've done the story so you, that's it so you don't need to break anything and we're all good and it's calm and we're nearly finished and, and that's brilliant that was his worst one yet that was amazing unbelievable well, I think we've covered Christmas now. I mean, that is almost word for word what is in the Bible. Yeah. <laughs>